All right, hello, hello. I am here to show you how to use our online giving through our website. So you can go on there and do your online giving if you would like. I do have another video I'm going to post about how to use our app. So this um, is actually going to be through our website. Um, so shubbycc.org and you go down to give. Now we are getting ready to launch our new website. So it is gonna be the same thing. Right now it's uh, shubbycc.org slash home slash giving. So it is going to be on the front of our new website just like that on the front page. Uh, we're just gonna be launching a new website. It, it's gonna have a lot more features on it. But um, if you go to giving and you hit give now, it's going to take you to our website. <clears throat> Since I'm doing this on my phone, I'm going to do the desktop version so that we can um, see it here. So this is what it's going to look like on your desktop version. All right, so under donates here, you can go ahead and donate if you would like without setting up an account or logging in. You can do that, um, you know, there on the left hand side of your screen and then you would hit continue and it's going to prompt you to go ahead and set up um, or put in your credit card so you would just hit the total amount that you would like to give in each area um, we also as you can see underneath here we have uh, the Little Lambs for Jesus Preschool and the Gap Tuition so if you're a parent of one of those you could also follow along with this video to pay your um, tuition for those. So um, this help offset fee is a fee that this company charges us for the transactions. So you can help offset that cost if you want. I think it's like 1%. So um, first, if you give $40 um, a week or a month or whatever, if you give $40 donation, it would be 40 cents. So it'd be $40 and 40 cents for your total giving if you wanted to do that. Um, then you would choose how often you would like this to reoccur. Um, you can do one time, you can do weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, semi-monthly, okay? So um, I'm just going to put monthly right now, or one time right here, donation. It tells you to start time. End date would obviously be if you had, uh, you know, if you put on there reoccurring when you would want it to stop. And then you just hit continue. And then it's going to prompt you here for all of your information. Um, I will tell you on the church's behalf, on the processing fees, um, oh, here it says 2.75% offset fee, and that's for, or for, trans, for processing fees. That is for credit cards or debit cards. Those cost a little more. If you use the checking or savings, 1% covers that. So it's a little cheaper on the church if you do a checking or a savings account, but you do not have to, and you don't have to help offset that cost. That is up to you completely. Um, then it's going to, let's see here, ask you to set up a password if you would like to continue here doing that, and then you would just hit process there at the bottom. It's going to go ahead and process your payment for you. If it does ask you up here for an email address, that email address, um, they will send you a confirmation for this payment, so you will get that. Um, okay, so I will tell you too that you can do several different donation options, so if you wanted to do you know, $20 in the general fund, $5 in the sacrificial offering, and $5 in the building fund, you can do all of those as well. Um, you don't have to just give to one area if you do not want to. Okay, so um, here, if you have already set up a profile, you go here, enter your email address and your password and log in. If you have yet to create an online profile, you're going to hit create profile. 
Um, and then you're going to go through, if you have set up, if you've already watched the um, app video and you've already set up a profile on the app video, it's all the same company. So um, you don't have to do a new profile. So go ahead in here if you haven't and set up a profile. So what is cool about this is if you are, if you have your phone with you and you want to give, you can do that. If you're at home on your desktop and you want to give, you can do that. Even though it's two different places, it's going to give you the same option to give and it will have your credit card saved. Okay, I'm going to set up a mock account here with you guys so that you can see. Um, here, you're going to go ahead and set up your um, profile. So you're going to go through here and set up all of that. going to do it really quick so that I can go through all this with you guys. Create profile. Okay, so everything is saved now. So now it's going to ask you um, if you want to go ahead and add a transactions. Um, this down here will also show you my scheduled transactions, and then it will also show you your transaction history. So this is very helpful for you um, later on to see you know, if you've paid for something, if you're buying a book or t-shirt or something, if you've already paid for that, it is also um, very helpful um, to see when your next payment comes out, if you have it set differently every month. Um, let's see here. You can also view your profile from here. All of that information, change your password. Okay, so um, I'm going to hit, uh, let's see here add transaction and like I said at the very beginning of the screen this option here is going to allow you to um, give in several different areas or you can give in just one and then you can do the offset as well the offset cost um, then it's going to ask me how frequent. I'm going to do a one-time giving option. Continue. Alrighty. Then it's going to ask me to set up. Let's see. I'm going to just going to put new um, checking account here. And so then it's going to ask me for all of that and make sure I'm not a robot and then process that. Um, this will also send you an email to let you know that you have set up an account and that you also made a donation. Um, so this is also helpful for taxes at the end of the year. Also, if you want to look back and see what you gave, it's all consistent right here. Um, I believe that is all that I wanted to show you. Um, I did want to tell you, I explained it in the other video, but I do want to explain this just in case you um, didn't watch the other video. The company that we go through is called Vanco and they are PCI compliant, which means that they have to go through all of the regulations to hold, hold um, all your personal information. So if you're worried about having your stuff online and things like that, this company hold, is the one that holds your credit card or your, or your debit card or your checking account. They, um, like I said, they are PCI compliant. So they have to go through all the regulations to make sure that everything is safe for you and for us as the, you know, the, the company that is asking you to give. Um, now, 
the us here at Shelby Christian Church, we do not see any of your information, your private information, so you do not have to worry about that. Now, all of the payments that you do on the website is um, identified as a gift. So what I mean by that is um, since you're not putting your payments in an envelope for tax reasons at the end of the year, um, this does go through our finance department. So our finance um, or treasury department um, will tag this under your name on our system. So we make sure that we get you your correct, correct tax information at the end of the year. Um, so if you have any questions on all of any of this or you need help setting up your account or um, anything like that, let me know. Um, you know, hit us up and we can answer those questions for you. Or if you even need to stop by one day and, and like I said, I can set it up for you. That's definitely an option. So I hope this video helps and I hope it's um, all very easy for you, uh, for you to see all of your stuff and get set up. All right, that is all that I wanted to show you guys.